Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of Hey, What's Next? Today, I'm going to be in a remote office outside at the local rec center, and we're going to try this, the portable charger kit for power stations from EcoWorthy, a 100 watt portable solar panel. So today we brought in uh, several items. We have the EcoFlow River. Uh, we got my 15 inch MacBook. Now, why am I using that as opposed to my M1? It's a little bit more power hungry and this is only charged to 60% or so. Uh, we have this to capture time-lapse and uh, of course the solar panel right over here. Okay, so what's in the box? We have the panel and that's it. So the panel itself, pretty hefty guy. Uh, we do have a bag that comes off. That's all of our tools and accessories. And we have the pegs, two sets, one on either side. Here are our rated uh, specifications uh, for the panel, which is gonna be perfect for the uh, EcoFlow River. So let's uh, get this set up and get it started to charge. It has these straps right here and that opens up and actually let me do this I'm gonna do this side and you can see that the feet come out and we have a 30 uh, degree and a 40 degree we're gonna do 30 right now because of the Sun and where it's located and we're gonna plug that in now into the EcoFlow now there's the uh, connection and you can see the wire goes all the way over to well I haven't plugged it in yet but first we're just going to go ahead and get the solar panel set up and now we're going to take this uh, connector right there and we are going to use that just gets connected in like so all right so now we have our MC4s with our MC4 is already connected, we're just gonna go ahead and lock them into place. And lo and behold, let's see what happens when we plug it in. So we're gonna go ahead and bring the camera over here. So we'll bring that down. There we go. We're gonna turn on the EcoFlow. And we are now plugged in. And we're gonna see if we're gonna start getting some power here. And we are, we are getting 40, 56 watts. So that's a good sign. So there we go. We're gonna get a little bit closer to that. All right. All right, so what is my goal for today? The goal is to see if I can maintain or maybe even increase the amount of power stored in the river, uh, this laptop pulls in between 40 to 60 watts. So I wanted to make certain I was getting something that was pulling a lot of power and I wanted to see if I could just break even uh, at a minimum and, you know, try what it's like to be in a remote office with a lot of construction in the background. Show you that I could work outside for two or three hours using the EcoWorthy 100 watt portable solar panel and the EcoFlow River. But to not bore you, we're just gonna time lapse um, throughout the uh, next two to three hours. So here we got started around 9.40 a.m. on this cool morning. Uh, as you can see, we're hovering right at 65 watts coming in and we're hitting more of that going out to the laptop. But what's interesting is at a point where the laptop didn't need as much power, you can see that we were at 99 hours. We had more coming in than going out. Uh, and then towards the end here, you're going to start seeing that we increase the amount of storage on the EcoFlow River. So what are my thoughts on the 100 watt solar panel from EcoWorthy? It's easy to set up. There's a great selection of adapters, a very long power cable, decent power throughput, and fairly lightweight and sturdy. My goal in 2024 is to possibly go and do some trips with this solar panel 
and with one or more of the power stations that I have to really try to, you know, live off the grid, <laughs> air quotes. Uh, we'll see how that, that works out in the end. But in short, uh, the EcoWorthy 100 watt portable solar panel based on these tests, I love it and I can't wait to use it again once we get out of winter and I get to some sunny skies.